One of the questions we get asked quite a bit here at Realty Candy is about Hunt Brothers Realty. Uh, Chris Hunt and his team have some great visuals here on their website. They're using our data graphs uh, tools. They also have uh, the community stats tool that they're using in here, software that helps them get these great images. And then visitors can click off here or here and go uh, visit, find out more about all these listings, go see them all. So I want to show you today how these work. First of all, you go to idxaddons.com and you go to apps and for the community stats widget you can see here you can hover over that and download or download right here once you do that you come here to uh, wordpress and you'll go to plugins add new and upload the file you just downloaded and then click activate it once you do that you're going to have uh, over here in the sidebar you're going to have communities now this is a custom post type and so we're gonna come over here and making one that's called Boca Raton and I put in some interesting stats about Boca Raton and down here on the page you'll see something that looks like this it says IDX settings so I'll put in the Boca Raton save search and that's what you the basis of all this data comes from so you'll want to have a save search and then we made another one that's new listings so that helps with the data graphs so if I want to show the data graph, for example, on this page, then I can just pop that in here. And, uh, you know, I don't know if there's not much point in putting my uh, community stats right there on my page, but we'll just do it for fun so we can see what it looks like. And the stats comes from this number so you need to get that number 38983 okay so we'll put that in there and I may even put a little space in here between these and then the third piece is you can get these broken out and get a little graph that looks like this with a uh, beds and price ranges so I'm going to put that down here the other thing you want to do is you want to put a featured image in because that's going to be important I'll show you later what one looks like with a featured image and one looks like without a featured image so then we save this and if we come over here and we we kick this page open you can see that uh, right here there's the some interesting facts about Boca Raton there's the settings on the data graphs that can be changed in the data graphs uh, settings and this page has a sidebar so that makes it a little bit wonky here um, here's the Boca Raton if I click there it takes me so I can see all the listings and then since it's on the page uh, I also have the breakout how many different properties are available by these different bedroom categories and it has the breakout so you can see there's the breakout by price if you want one bedroom homes uh, there's 13 listings between 219 and 420 if you want two bedroom homes there's actually some between 217 and 960 so you can see all these different price ranges and your users can click on those and go check those out so say I want to add a new uh, a page where I want to do a data test for these communities again I can bring the same information back over here where I come and say okay let's get the uh, the data graphs and I'll pop that in and that community page for Boca Raton is uh, right here 38983 And then while I'm there, and you can see that we have, when I go to communities here, you can see we have uh, Miami Beach in here too. I just need to get the number there, so it's 38961. So I'll put that in, 38961, which is that uh, one. And then um, 
I could actually come over here if I wanted to and grab this code snippet and copy that and I could put a, a data graph. So if I put it on the page, I just use this. If I'm going to move it somewhere else, I need to get this one because it has the ID, if that makes sense. So uh, on this little page that I'm making, maybe I'll just bring it, put a data graph on here just for kicks and giggles. And I'll space that out a little bit. If I want to look at a preview of what this page is going to look like, it looks like it'll come up looking something kind of like this. Looks like we're throwing a little error here. I'll have to check that out. But here's the Boca Raton one. Miami Beach uh, looks a little different. Maybe I need to get the image in there, or I could go in and put in some CSS and widen these out a little bit. Here's the data graph uh, here on the page. So these are free tools for all Realty Candy IDX Broker clients. There's no cost to you. If you're already using IDX Broker, you can get these completely free. Contact us at realtycandy.com today and we'll show you how to get them set up. Thank you.